you have an increased atmospheric pressure. With an increased atmospheric pressure in a closed system, you're going to increase the amount of oxygen present in your tissues. So there's going to be a lot more oxygen available for our, all of your cells, all of your organs, all of your tissues, all over your body. So there are several epigenetic clocks, uh, as we call them. We can measure things like your telomere length, we can measure things like your epigenetic age, and different types of biomarkers that are associated with the aging process. So once we find out your baseline, how you, you know, enter the experiment, and we can monitor again the biomarkers after you finish the experiment, we can graph out that progress and do an estimate of how you know, your current age and if you had any type of age reversal uh, procedure. So vitamin D is a uniquely special vitamin. Uh, just to, to be you know, very aware of this, the vitamin D is the only type of vitamin that your body is able to make. The only vitamin your body is able to make. So it's that important. Obviously, we do need some type of sunlight to activate the vitamin D. So by having a decreased exposure of, of sunlight, we could expect a diminished um, amount of vitamin D in our body. As I was um, talking to Mr. Rudy um, earlier, whenever you have any type of, let's say, northern, northern European ancestry, you are genetically adapted to having low exposures of sunlight year round. So that's something that could be favorable uh, to him. So it can affect tremendously your aging process. This is something that is not being talked about uh, enough as it should be. Whenever you have a lack of motivation, you have depression, you, your will to live gets lost. So there's nothing pushing you to continue you know, living another day. And this can dr drastically impact you know, hormone levels, cortisol levels, and, and even how you, you, you go around during your day. So there will be very little motivation to do that. One of the things of this experiment, whenever there's any type of isolation, we do need to keep an eye on mental health regarding type of anxiety or depression due to the isolation. So the aging process in itself will return to the gradual, slow decline of aging. But everything that you regain, for example, in Dr. Dutari's experiment, that he lost or he reversed his aging for 10 years, he most likely is gonna hold those 10 year reduction and then just continue slowly the, the, the regular age decline as we, as we age.